evening. I'm Christine Johnson. I'm Maurice Dubois. Police say it is a sophisticated ring that started back in November. They released this horrific video of a woman being dragged in one of 62 incidents. So far, police have arrested seven people connected to the robberies, but they are still others on the loose, including the alleged ringleader. CBS 2's Ali Bauman live now in Chinatown, where the most recent incident took place. Ali. Well, Christine, police say this operation continue, continued up until last night right here in Chinatown, where sources tell us a group of four men robbed a delivery worker of his scooter. And police say over the past three months, this group has mostly targeted women walking alone and have made themselves hundreds of thousands of dollars in stolen profit. Surveillance video shows a suspect on a scooter fleeing a 62-year-old woman to the ground in Brooklyn last month while stealing her purse. The NYPD says it's the modus operandi for this particular group of thieves who have been using mopeds for quick getaways after stealing phones and purses from at least 62 victims across the city. During our investigation, we learned that these perpetrators are part of a sophisticated criminal enterprise made up of migrants who have recently arrived in the United States. Joined by Mayor Eric Adams, police arrested seven of the suspects early Monday in the Bronx on multiple counts of grand larceny. But investigators are still looking for the alleged ringleader, 30-year-old Victor Parra, who came to New York from Venezuela last year. Detectives believe the robberies typically began with a message blast from Parra on WhatsApp, looking for phones and reading, I have money, I'm available, go get them. Once the messages are received, the crime wave begins, with the scooter operators making $100 a day, and the actual phone snatch and make it between $300 to $600 per phone that is stolen. Investigators say at Para's Bronx apartment, a hacker would break into the phones and use the owner's banking apps to make fraudulent purchases in the U.S. and South America. When the accounts drained, police say Para shipped the phones to Colombia to be reprogrammed. In recent months, a wave of migrant crime has washed over our city. But by no means do the individuals committing these crimes represent the vast number of people coming to New York to build a better life. Police have issued warrants for three other suspects and believe even more are out there. Scooters and mopeds have become vehicles of choice for criminals in New York. Back in July, we got an exclusive look at how the NYPD has been going on the offensive, targeting what they describe as roving groups of unlicensed scooters, similar to the ones used in this ring. The law is coming for those who use mopeds illegally. Well, the police commissioner says what makes this case particularly difficult to crack is a lot of these suspected migrants involved have little paper, paper trail, basically no criminal records in the U.S., no social media. And in some cases, he says it's hard for police to even authenticate a suspect's name or date of birth. We're live in Chinatown. Ali Bauman, CBS2 News.